first things first. We have we have some lovely bacon. It's Canadian bacon. If you're American, get American bacon. Yeah, whatever. I'm from Canada, so yeah, it's a Canadian bacon because I gotta stay authentic to my country. What you're gonna do, get them on the board. And make sure your board is always clean before handling meat. Otherwise, you're gonna end up getting food poisoning and we definitely don't want that. Make sure your knife is clean. We're just gonna slice these into targets. And this is something that you could use easily make for brunch. Not really breakfast if you're not a big eater for breakfast, but a good one for brunch. Yes, these are nice lardens of bacon. That's All right, there we go. Bacon is ready. That aside, you should keep it. What am I doing? Let's keep it here. All right, give your board a little wipe. You never want raw meat with vegetables on the board. Um, Unless you cook them, but this is a pepper. Peppers can be a nightmare to slice, and some people might not know how to slice one. So I'm going to demonstrate how to slice a very fresh, ripe red pepper. If you slice a pepper like this, try to like do this. It's, yeah, good luck with that, my friend. It's an absolute nightmare. So make sure your knife is clean. Just no raw meat on it. And what you want to do is slice off the stem. Take off the stem and stand up like this. Okay, so basically slicing a pepper is almost the same as peeling an orange. So what we wanna do is like that. Obviously go for bigger slices, but I'm just roughly slicing it to make sure you don't waste the majority of the pepper. This method ensures you have the majority of the pepper without wasting single darn slice. If you're thinking, wow, peppers for breakfast, why? Well, it's savory. That's why. You could do a, obviously do a lot better than me, but this, but here's what I want to be left with. This core that nobody wants to eat. And this is what we don't want in our frittata either. Now, we're gonna roughly slice this. No, no fancy, no dice, no julienne, no slices. Just roughly slice. Maybe like little shards like this, something like that. Like the bacon, don't make it too small or else you're gonna end up eating it. Because we just want to roughly slice, because we want some little, we want some texture. Before we start frying, I want to get some spring onions. These are uh, spring onions freshly grown from our garden. And what you want to do, if you want to be fancy, put the spring onions like this. Slice them on an angle. Slice them roughly like this. Peppers, bacon, spring onions. And then our last ingredient, some fresh basil. You can eat the stems, but we don't want the stems in the frittata because we don't want a sudden pick up the leaves. So how do we slice basil or other herbs without making your board green like the Hulk. So, get your biggest leaf, put the smaller leaves in, and make sure you slice once. If you slice them more than once, then your board will turn into the Hulk. So now what you wanna do is roll it up like a little tube, like a, uh, like a cylinder or a little tortilla. Place it firmly on your board, slowly. Don't worry about the speed. Speed comes later. There you go. Your board is nowhere near green because we sliced it once and we didn't bruise the basil. Now for the cheese. Here is a nice uh, kilo of mozzarella. What I have here, the cheese cutter. The cheese knife and it's a uh, very edgy it's just starting to edge it and it's designed to cut cheese pretty firmly even with the cheese is stone cold so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half the cheese cut it one half will be dotted in the frittata 
The other, we're gonna grate on top. So to be prepared, let's get the grating done first then. Good quality grater. Make sure to use the side because we don't want it too fine. We want it, we want it at the finest. We don't want it like to be large, long strips. Because we don't want it to be like pizza. This means that like cheese on toast smell. But because the cheese is nice and soft, it makes the grating a lot easier. It goes through the holes a lot easier. Let's put it in. Let me just crumble this now. Take your knife. The reason we have this many cheese is because some will go into the frittata itself and the rest will go into our eggs. Okay, we are at the stove now and what we want to do is turn the gas up nice and high. This is uh, grapeseed oil, just bake it in. Let all that fat come out. And yes, it's starting to break up, which is what we want. Season it. Then add your peas. Cook that up. Okay, these peas are frozen. They've been uh, boiled already. But I always use. Now turn the gas down. Right. Let's do eggs now. These are four eggs. They've been cracked already because I don't need to show you guys how to crack eggs. It's pretty easy. So what you want? It's a nice good whisk. A little pinch of salt, and then start whisking. Break up the yolks first. If you whisk this too fast, the eggs will go fly everywhere, and your kitchen will be full of eggs all over the place. Now, I'm gonna season the eggs with the, some of the cheese that we grated. Don't keep, don't use all of them though, because we need to save some to finish off the frittata with. Just drop a little pinch in. Now use that whisk and start twisting it instead of whipping it. All right, there it is. That's the consistency we're looking for. Get all your egg out of the whisk. Nothing goes to waste. And our eggs are ready for the frittata. Put in your fresh basil in. And then right before we add the eggs, we put our cheese in. So I want them like spread out. Now turn the gas low for egg. As you can see, top, run through the thing to make sure all the egg gets to the bottom. But we want to start cooking up the egg a little bit. Final thing before we start doing it, turn off the gas. And you want this to melt on top, so be very generous. Alright, that looks very nice. Now, let's put that into the oven. Let's bake this, and our frittata will be ready. So. Oh my God. Don't use an actual sharp knife because it will destroy the coating on your pan. So, you want some normal knife, use the non-flat side, and then what you want is grab both hands and then give it all you got. Look that people. Beautiful. 
that wraps up the mark. 45 for Tata. Very, very nice.